Hello friends and potential friends. Well, today is Sunday, May 9th, and let me start by wishing all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. In particular, one that's very special to me, my mom. Love you, Mom. I wish I could be out there with you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning, and it just passed 80 degrees here. Things are really booming around here. My Corbachi pepper has got blossoms all over it. That's the one I'm hoping to get some seeds from. I've got ginger sprouting in all four of my ginger pots. And so far I'm not seeing any sprouts in the turmeric pots. The potatoes I planted out here, a few of them have started blossoming a little bit. We'll see what that means. I've got Jimmy Nardello peppers all over the place on these plants. These were leftovers from last year. Pineapples are still forming. They're still pretty tiny. They're kind of slow to grow, but they'll get there. There's the other one. All the rest of the pineapples are doing good, though a couple of them really need to get put in the ground somewhere. I cleaned out my sweet potato slips finally, and I'm hoping to get a few more to grow there. These dado peppers that I grew last winter are still growing like gangbusters. They've got flowers all, or all over them, and a few of them have got peppers all over them. I've already picked three ripe ones, I believe. And there's plenty more forming there. Okra's still hanging in there sporadically. The two pomegranates are still doing good, putting on new growth. I moved the red marconis over here where they get just a little bit more sunlight each day. And it looks like I may have a fruit on one of them back there. Meanwhile, these are the, uh, I believe these are the garden peach tomatoes, and they've got some blossoms on them here and there. Let me see if I saw, yep, got some red marconis starting to form up. There's a couple of them there. Over in the main beds. Of course, the rosemary is still growing like gangbusters. Even though my neighbor keeps coming down and snitching a little bit off of it to make some tea. Collards are still growing. Uh, I've got the six lemon drop peppers in here. And these ones down here are Puza Jawala. That's most of my hot peppers. Kale is already starting to droop a little bit from the direct sunlight and Jimmy Nardello's are growing peppers all over the place I think I see three or four on that plant a couple on that plant there's a couple on this one blossoms all over that one couple more at the far end over there next to those I believe these are the uh, I think these are red Marconis here they're kind of stout they've got some blossoms on them I don't see any fruit yet and next to them I've got the California Wander Bell Peppers and they've got blossoms all over them And then the Corbachi peppers. And they also have blossoms all over them. Sunflowers are coming along. And it's just about time to harvest the seeds off of my cilantro. And get them out of the way. Day before yesterday, I pulled up the last of the winter tomatoes. I also harvested the 
kale that was at the far end and filled up another big bag in the freezer. Freezer's starting to get full again. And I got the rest of my sweet potato slips put out here. They're a little bit sparse at the far end, but that end gets uh, quite a bit more shade, so I don't think that's really going to matter that much. If I get any more slips growing, I'll be putting them out in the far end. Those that I planted last week, or I think it was a week or so ago, are all doing good. A lot of the beans that I planted along here are doing good. I did plant more beans along this end as well, right along the trellis. But I don't see any of them coming up yet. Now let's walk around my strategic locations and see what else we got going. Okay, location number one, I've got two Pilser Bessie tomatoes. And they're starting to bloom a little bit. These ones are in the shade most of the day. And in front of them I've got one, uh, what's that, a Puza Joala. I probably should move that a little bit farther out where it'll get more sun than those tomatoes get. Back in the mini orchard, papaya still growing good, but I'm still not seeing any fruit on it. Ponderosa lemon is growing good. Uh, still got blueberries forming up on the blueberry bush. And I got in here and cleaned up the sugarcane bed a little bit. Also chopped down a couple of those stalks and I've got some of them I planted dirt right back into the soil here and others I've got planted in the lab. We'll take a look at those in a few minutes. The Moringa is branching out nicely and the okra that I planted back here is doing pretty good. And then back in the corner here I've got I believe these are two uh, Cherokee black tomatoes or black beauties that's what that's what they are black beauty. They've got a few blossoms on them they're growing real good and then right in front of those there's another California Wonder Bell pepper and as you can see I've got a few peppers forming on it they're not real big yet but I'm keeping an eye on them now let's walk over here my fig tree is still hanging in there it has a few new leaves on it I really need to get it somewhere where it gets more sunlight back behind the red bud these are the Cherokee green tomatoes they're growing pretty good they get a mix of sun and shade in here we got a few blossoms popping up on them and in the northeast corner the lemon that I planted from a couple of years ago is still come growing good well Back here in the back corner, I believe these are white tomasil tomatoes. They also have a few blossoms on them. And they're outgrowing their tomato cages. And then in front of them, I've got a couple of lemon drop peppers. They got a little bit beat up in the wind the other day when the front came through, but they're hanging in there. Of course my loquat growing strong and so far I'm not seeing a lot of development on the original Ponderosa though there are still a few few little tiny lemons on there so hopefully we'll get one or two of them this year now in this part of the jungle, the uh, or that's the Florida avocado, still growing good. Next to it, I've got a few jalapenos, and they've got blossoms on them too. So hopefully we'll be getting some peppers out of them soon. Looks like the gardenia might give me a couple of flowers here before too long. And in the front yard, 
green stalks are still growing like gangbusters. I did discover, incidentally, when I put the top tier on each of these towers, I had to play around with my watering a little bit because the bottom tier was not getting nearly enough water. As you can see, a lot of the potatoes in that bottom tier are kind of drooping and dragging and turning brown. But I have increased my watering and hopefully that will remedy that situation. And incidentally, the uh, Zvarsky peppers, they have got peppers all over them. My understanding is these will get to be about six to eight inches long, so I'm just watching them grow now. There's probably a half dozen or more. Well, there's more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's a bunch of peppers on those. They're still putting on more blossoms. So I'm really looking forward to them. And over on the other side, I had a little bit of a problem with blossom end rot. If you can see it there. So I have amended that soil a little bit and increased my watering, hoping I can get that caught up because I need to get some seeds out of these homestead tomatoes. Still plenty more coming on, so hopefully that will work out good for me. Radishes are getting a bit, little bit skimpy because I've been eating them. And they're pretty good too. These, these little ones down here, the watermelon radishes, I've eaten a couple of those. They are so cute. They're white on the outside, and when you cut them open, they're red on the inside, just like a watermelon. But these are both growing nicely, and I can't wait to do a treasure hunt on those potatoes. And finally, a quick stop in the lab, just to cool off a little bit, although I did turn the air conditioner off so it doesn't drown everything out. Along this side, I've got a dozen sweet banana peppers that I planted late. They're coming up good. Need to either up pot them or move them outside before long. Catnip is putting out some pretty flowers. Here I planted a bunch of basil. I think there's about six or eight different varieties in there. You know, there's lemon and lime and mammoth basil, holy basil, licorice basil, uh, Genovese. Spicy globe, bunch of them, and the sugar cane. I mentioned I cut up a couple of stalks of sugar cane. Well, this is where a lot of it came to. Some of it was already sprouting when I planted it. Others have just come up recently. For example, there's one popping up right down in there. There it is little tiny thing that's all coming up down at this end I've got my Praxis cherry tomato plant and it's got little tiny cherries on it and it's growing a bunch of flowers still and the rest of these are different peppers uh, several of these the labels came off on them so I'm not totally certain what they are but this one back here in the back is looking an awful lot like the corbachi. And it's got several peppers on it. Not sure what that little one is. This one might be a lemon drop. And this one here is either a red marconi or a jalapeno. And I should know when I start seeing some fruit on it. But I'll probably be moving those peppers out of here before too long. And then I'll have to find something else to fill up the space with. But in the meanwhile, once again, I wish Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Especially my mom. And I shall see you on the next video.